And today we're going to talk about essential amino acids, the building blocks of life. Your body is built up of a whole group of amino acids. They, they come from proteins. And in fact, there's 22 amino acids that your body requires in order to perform all its function. If we go back to the cell, you know, we look at that little cell nucleus. What's inside here? DNA. That is nothing but amino acids strung together. And those amino acids tell your body to do virtually everything. Now, keep in mind, this also sends off what's called RNA messages. This tells your cells how to talk to each other, your neurotransmitters inside your brain in order to make your brain work properly, in order to build your muscles, regenerate your organs. You need amino acids. And keep in mind, amino acids come from protein. But protein per se, like, you know, people go, well, wait, where do you get your protein? It's not all just about how much protein you're consuming. It's your ability to turn protein into amino acids. And why we have spent so much time talking about digestion, assimilation, and enzymes, and probiotics, because we want to optimize your ability to convert protein into amino acids. Because without it, you know, the bottom line is you can eat all the protein you want. It's how much you get into the cell. If you go back to our, t our, our lesson, our talk on digestion, and we broke that all down for you, you got to realize is your ability to convert this. Now, here's the thing. There are what's called eight essential amino acids. So if we look at this one, we got... Okay, essential amino acids. What do we mean by essential amino acids? What it means is your body doesn't make them. It, like You just can't manage. You have to get these from an outside source. That's why they're called essential. The other 14 your body can manufacture. These essential amino acids are valine, isoleucine, leucine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, methionine, and lysine. Lysine is a big one. Um, in pre-digestion, five of those amino acids, these are like, these essential ones are kind of like what I call big fat, <laughs> big fat aminos. In other words, they're really big molecules. And in pre-digestion, if you don't break those down in that first 30 to 60 minutes, you don't get those amino acids. So remember in an earlier lesson, we talked about the turkey dinner syndrome where everybody had the Thanksgiving dinner and you know they after they, they ate all this turkey and everything and they felt you know oh I'm so tired and everything now some people say it's because there was high levels of tryptophan and that made people sleepy I'm gonna suggest this what happens is you had an incomplete profile of amino acids along with a lot of food when you got up when you woke up out of that coma you know like you know you come out of the, after the couch and all that stuff and, and you went out what are you feeling you're feeling hungry why are you feeling hungry? You're feeling hungry because you didn't have enough essential amino acids. And inside your intestinal tract, your body is robbing. It's literally robbing amino acids out of the smooth muscle tissue that control the contractions in your digestive system. Those are called peristaltic contractions. So it's taking those, those aminos out of that muscle because so, it needs these essential amino, it's got to do something to make complete proteins. And what happens is now you cause degeneration in here because you're not converting protein into amino acids properly. Now, this is a shocking thing. When I was competing in, in bodybuilding competitions, you know, the, the standard rule was you need at least one gram per pound of body weight. And a lot of guys were going up to two grams and even three grams, I heard some people. So for a guy like me that's 200 pounds, we're talking I needed by those standards and bodybuilding standards, somewhere between two and 400 grams. I used to exist on 250, but guess what? I didn't know about enzymes. I didn't know about probiotics. I didn't know about those things. And not only did I set myself up for a big failure because I wasn't getting the amino acids out of the protein I was consuming. I made that mistake and it really set me back health wise. And when I started learning about enzymes and probiotics and following the principles that we're teaching in here, what I was able is I was able to go from 200 grams plus a day down to 
85 grams of protein per day. Way less, even though that I was training several hours a day and I was still able to capture some national bodybuilding titles and go to the world championships on 85 grams a day. But guess what? I didn't feel as bad as I did when I ate all that protein because when I was eating this protein, it had a high metabolic cost. And just so you know, there's a lot of diet strategies out there that kind of build on this thing. What they do is they have a high protein or high fat diet and very, very low carbs. And what happens is this creates a high metabolism. So in other words, your body is starts working really hard to break down all the protein and all the fats and, and it's converting this. Number one, you're creating a lot of acids inside the body and number two, you're exhausting your bucket of resource. Remember, we went back to the bucket theory about, about ex your lifestyle and that burn rate. So there, believe me, I've done this. So there's a danger in that. If you're going to do that program, you know, be like my business partners who, who, who lean towards this a little bit more. They take their enzymes and probiotics. That way they ensure that they're getting this digested. Because here's what happens if you don't. If you're not using enzymes and probiotics to get your amino acids and that sort of thing, what happens is you're building up undigested protein. We talked about this in an earlier lesson. Undigested protein is going to be sitting somewhere in your intestinal tract. This is food for the bad guys, the bad bacteria inside your body, inside your body. And they start producing all those toxins take over your brain, start making you think weird things, feeling depressed. They also start slowing down the elimination of food. You start feeling that bloated feeling, that tired feeling, like I don't have the energy and stuff. Undigested protein is a real problem. And partic particularly in North America, we, we generally eat a lot more protein than we need. But the thing is, is we're not breaking it down into those essential amino acids. And by the way, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you can't have a complete protein diet uh, on a plant-based diet? Well, that's not true. Number one, hemp has all 22 amino acids. It's probably the best plant protein out there, and it's easy to digest, has lots of fiber in it, well, which keeps the elimination going. But if you look at most plant proteins, most of them have the essential amino acids. So guess what? You can have a complete diet. I'm living proof, and so are clients. And I'm not saying that you have to be on a completely plant-based diet, but don't fear it. I had a fear one time. I thought if I was going to eat just plants, I mean, I would just dry up and blow away. And I can share with you this, it's not the truth. But if you are a plant-based eater, uh, and I know I have a lot of vegetarians and vegans and stuff that come through our program, and they come into it largely in part because they can't maintain their muscle mass. And it's not because they're just eating plants. Oftentimes, they're attracted to those diets because they couldn't digest protein in the first place. They were having troubles because... Their digestive system was, had been compromised. They didn't have the enzymes present. They didn't have the bacteria. You know, they got a bum deal maybe in genetics-wise or whatever. So although oftentimes they lose a lot of weight and get to a certain level of health, they weren't able to optimize themselves. And that was quite common in the raw food community. I was a raw foodist for over two years. Still eat mostly raw, but the bottom line is, is you have to understand how to optimize your system. It's not about being right. It's not about being wrong. It's about being optimized. And to do that and to get all the amino acids, follow the routine, follow the program, try it for the next 30, 60, 90 days and see what happens. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on amino acids and we'll see you on the next one.